here we're going to be looking at consumer math price lists. So you might be using one of these things when you're looking at a grocery store receipt to check if everything's copacetic. You know, they didn't overcharge you, charge you too much for something, etc. So it should be fairly straightforward. How much money does Kaylee need to buy a cup and a book? Okay, so we've got a cup. We bought a book. We've got to add them up, right? So we have 4720 plus 4430. So we'll have zero, five. This will be an 11. There'll be a one here. It'll be 9150. Just check our work. Yeah, 50 cents. Yep, 9150. Okay, how much money does Ethan need to buy a shoe and a watermelon? Oh, Ethan's not going to step on this watermelon. His intentions seem a little bit weird. Weird combination of purchases. 45.20, 32.20. We're going to get a zero here. We're going to get a four here. We're going to get a seven here. We're going to get a seven here. So, watermelon and a shoe will be $77.40. Now we want a watch and a sticker. I actually could see buying that combo of things. I like both those things. Watch and a sticker. All right, so we have $27.50. Twenty six sixty zero one put a one here four put a one here five so it should cost fifty four ten to buy this watch and this sticker. I bet they have sticker watches at this point. How much money does Alyssa need to buy a puppy and a key? Here's a puppy. Here's a key. 44, 50, 29. I'm thinking about getting a puppy. Maybe not a key. Oops. Close that. Zero. 8 plus 5 is 3. Gives us a 1 here. So we have a 14. Another 1 here. So 74.30. Another way of seeing that is that this is almost 30 bucks. So if you add 30 bucks to 44.50, you get 74.50. And then you subtract 20 cents and you get 74.30. How much more does a chocolate bar cost than a fork? This is a very expensive chocolate bar. And this is a very expensive fork. So how much more? Well, that sounds like a subtraction problem. 49.90 minus 45.70. This will be two. This will be four. And we're going to end up with $4.20 more. I still say you go for the chocolate bar. How much more does a pen cost than a stapler? So you've got a pen, high end pen, stapler. Actually, I don't know how much staplers cost. I'm curious. Let me go on Amazon and find out. 46.40, 29.90. I know that there are some high end pens that could cost $46, no problem. I'm sure there are staplers that cost 50 bucks, at what the average stapler costs. So 14 minus 9 is 5. Takes away that. 
15 minus 9 is 6. And we get 1650. So 1650 more. How much money will Lily have left if she has $122.10 and buys a towel and a pencil? So this is a multi-step problem, right? So we first have to figure out how much a towel and a pencil cost together. So we have 46, 20 plus 27, 60. That's going to give us an 8. This is going to give us a 3. We're going to get a 1 here. And we're going to get a 73, 80. But that's not all, right? Then we have to subtract that from 122.10. So we do 122.10 minus 73.80. And so 11 minus 8 is 3, but that takes away 1 from here. 11 minus 3 is 8. That takes away 1 from here. 11 minus 7 is 4. So 48.30. That's how much money she'll have left. Does Jaden have enough money to buy a plant and a hat if he has $98.20? Okay. So here's a plant. Here's a hat. Let's just do some mental, let's just do some mental math here because that's that'll be practically useful. Even if we're really just conservative, we say the plant costs 40 bucks. And, we'll, and we're really cautious and we say the hat's gonna cost 50 bucks. That's still only gonna add up to 90 bucks, right? So he has 98, 20, he has more than enough to buy a plant and a hat. So we're just gonna go with yes here. Does Savannah have enough money to buy a hat and a tire if she has $75.20? Okay, so we've got a hat and we've got a tire. This one's closer, right? We can't play that game. When you add them, you're going to get 76.30, but let's just add them. 45.30 plus 31.30. Or 31.00. Give us a zero, a three, a six, and a seven. 76.30. 30. is more than 75.20. So she does not have enough money. And does William have enough money to buy a pencil and a plant if he has $80.10? We've got a pencil and a plant. And again, we can play that rounding game where even if we're careful, we say it's going to take 40 bucks and the plant's gonna take 40 bucks, it's still gonna only take 80 bucks. It's, we know it's actually gonna take much less than that, right? But he has $80.10. So he definitely has enough to buy a plant and a pencil. Yes. Okay, guys, maybe you think about those lists and see if you had to buy two things, what two things you would buy. And on that note, have a great day.